Don Mio put not one, but two types of tomato in every jar, and 11 herbs and spices skillfully blended so you can put the finest spaghetti bolognese on the table and a smile on everyone's face. The Don Mio smile. Put the Don Mio smile on your face. As always, Betsy. Betsy! Yes, the tense moment viewers have these poor blackers got the power. That's it. Thank you so much, most kind. Well, thank goodness for that. They've got the power after all, and you could have too. National power and power gem. Register for a prospectus by February the 15th, and you could get incentives. When you get a cold, you often get a bunged-up nose and a sore throat. You feel like your nose belongs to someone else, and your throat isn't your own. Double trouble. To treat your cold, Lockett's has a unique double action. Outside, penetrating menthol to help clear your nose. Inside, a liquid honey center to soothe your throat making you feel like your old self again. For double trouble, double action lockets. Help clear your nose and soothe your throat. What's today? Tuesday. I'll make it a Friday. That's a crisp and dry day. Maybe it can be a Friday. When you fry with crisp and dry. Because crisp and dry is specially blended to shake off food, leaving it deliciously crisp and dry. When you fry with crisp and dry. You never ignore these red warning signs. In nature, too, red can be a warning. If you see even small traces of blood when brushing your teeth, your gums may not be as healthy as they should be. But now there's a new toothpaste, which contains a unique combination of two antibacterial agents to give your gums twice the protection of our ordinary fluoride toothpaste. New Mentadent P Gum Health Formula with two antibacterial agents that go on helping to protect your gums between brushing. Toothpaste has changed with new Mentadent P Gum Health Formula. A new toothpaste for gums, for teeth, for life today. In Wednesday's movie premiere, Tom Hanks has something special to celebrate. I'm getting married. Yeah, right. Yeah, let's have a bachelor party! We want women! Uh, is there an empty outlet around here? Debbie, I don't know about this. What is she she's doing? <laughs> My God, what are you people doing in here? Tom Hanks is having a bachelor party Wednesday, 10.55 on ITV. After the break, we profile pop star Adam Ant. That's followed by the latest golf reports and American college footballers Baylor take on Rice. Got up? Hit the headlines? Oh, went shopping for some a la carte. Fell in love? She didn't want to know. My favourite park. Oh no, my favourite tree. Went for a run. Got mugged. New Frisky's buffy a la carte. Smells all right. Very meaty. Tastes terrific. <laughs> Not such a bad day after all. Frisky's buffet a la carte. Make your dog's day. Mr. Taylor has a very sore throat, but chloroseptic contains a very fast-acting painkiller. But is it fast enough to start to work before we finish this commercial? Well, Mr. Taylor? I don't, I don't believe... This army is over 70,000 strong. This army is trained to the highest standards. This army uses the most sophisticated equipment. This army is the Territorial Army. 
ready to play a vital, supportive role in times of need. If you think you could play a part in this army, call 0345 300 treble one. If you're sat around at home, make new friends on the telephone. Oh, eight, nine, eight, double five, double oh, double five. How can we be sure this room is at the right temperature? He's happy. If he was cold, his fur would stand up to trap warm air. He'd shiver. He'd hug himself to keep warm. She's not saying much. If her fur is standing up, it's hard to see. She's too young to sweat or shiver. The only way to tell is to touch her. She's fine. Hardly surprising. British Gas Central Heating is one of the most controllable systems known to man or beast. Gas, the heat of the moment. A litre of new fairy won't last one day longer than old fairy, or two, or four, but on average, eight days longer than ever before. I've got my inland revenue leaflet. Where's yours? I filed it. Behind the clock. Don't pay tax. You do. Banks and mills and societies take it from the interest on everybody's savings. Do they? Well, they did. But from April, if you don't pay income tax, like us, there's no need to pay tax on your savings. Looks a doddle. Filled yours in. This is efficiency. Take to bed. And then you hand them to your bank. You look good. Or building society. For, For your age. If you don't have to pay income tax, you won't need to pay tax on your savings. Please hand your form in soon. Entertainment tomorrow on ITV. Dick gives a good portrayal of the police force. Does it hurt? My leg. Stamp! He stopped breathing. Just a complete and utter loony. <laughs> a welding set. Set in Spain. Being the bar later, you want to start throwing your money around. You're on. Bring your dad as well, if you like. And with First Tuesday at 10.55, that's tomorrow night on ITV. Well, this Monday night's rundown includes American college football and a profile on pop star Adam Ant, the jolly highwayman who's making yet another comeback. Tomorrow at 9 on ITV, El Cid and the case of sabotage on the Costa del Sol. I'm trying to run a business and somebody's trying to ruin us. So you want us to go uh, undercover? You'll be a couple of English tourists. An opportunity for Blake to make a new acquaintance. Look at my feet. A copper? Oh, you're a million miles away. <laughs> I'm a cornflake cruncher. If romance was a crime, Blake, you wouldn't even rate a verbal warning. In just over three minutes, we have American College football. Baylor taking on Rice. That's after the latest golf report from Richard Bath at ITN. Fears of reprisals by Iraqi terrorists in the United States have been increased after two bombs were discovered at a chemical plant near the naval base at Norfolk, Virginia. An employee discovered the bomb at the base of a storage tank containing a million gallons of highly explosive methanol. A search found another much larger explosive, which was made safe by experts. The first device was composed of two pipe bombs, and it did have a detonating system on it. The second device was composed of four pipe bombs with a separate detonating device. It was found probably 150 feet away from the first device at another sto uh, uh, storage tank. Military analysts have conceded that some deaths by accident are inevitable in the Gulf War. They were commenting on the number of soldiers reported killed by what is referred to as friendly fire. The killing in this war is long range. A target often nothing more than a dot in the desert. The gunner is given just seconds to determine identification, friend or foe. The new generation of air-to-ground, fire-and-forget missiles are devastatingly effective. 
but before they're fired and forgotten, the target must be correctly identified. And in the fighting, mistakes are made. The Marine gunner is ordered to stop when it was discovered that he was firing into an area where a U.S. reconnaissance team was trapped. He's got friendly in that area, too. He's shooting at the green building. Okay, fine. We do have friendly in that area. We're aware of that. Wildlife experts are going to the war zone to try to help save some of the four million birds threatened by the oil slick now approaching Bahrain. They'll be showing the Saudis how to clean birds, such as this black-necked grebe, who are so badly coated with oil that they've lost their buoyancy as well as their ability to walk. That's all for now. I'll be back with the morning news at five o'clock. Wednesday on ITV. No! A murder sends Van der Valk in search of the truth. Is he dead? Murdered, Mrs. Young. He enjoyed living dangerously. To me, he was a parasite. A bad joke. He corrupted young minds. He led them into wickedness. He was good. To tell the truth required accurate observation. But the truth is dangerous. Van der Valk, Wednesday at five past eight. It doesn't make sense. I have a couple of messages to read out. Firstly, a big hello to Veronica. Hello, Veronica, keep up the good work. And secondly, a message here for Richard. It says, please give me a call. Go on, Richard, give her a call. If you don't, I will. Sport now, American college football. <laughs>